Now we go into the normal mode. And now we go into the mid mode, all right? This is Solomon of Solomonic Demons and today we're going to be checking the T-Rex Diva. Now the T-Rex Diva is an overdrive pedal and we're going to be using the pedal to boost uh, my Crate Budo 60 watts. Uh, yes, this doesn't going to be a review of how actually the pedal sounds in front of a clean channel. This is going to be a review of how the pedal sounds in front of a um, gain tone on an amplifier that actually needs that extra push to achieve either a more aggressive tone or a more tight tone. Now, I do not tend to do reviews on overdrives, especially using them like a boost but this pedal is special because actually this overdrive have three different kind of voicings and these voicings really changes how the pedal sound or how the pedal affects the amplifier that is actually boosting so that's why i decided to make uh, this review to show you guys okay so what do you guys gonna be hearing today what do i gonna be using i'm gonna be using my creamer soul plus this guitar is loaded with a set of emg pickups and 81 on the bridge and 85 on the neck the guitar gonna be connected straight to a tuner the tuner is connected straight to my t-rex diva and the t-rex diva is connected like i said in front of my crate and budo 16 uh, i'm in the gain channel of the amplifier that's channel number two i'm gonna be putting a settings of the amplifier right now so you guys can check the settings of my eq on the amplifier and i have a noise gate on the effects loop of the amplifier and the amplifier is gonna be connected straight to my load box my load box is my bugera ps1 and the bugera ps1 gonna be connected straight to my interface my interface to my computer and I'm gonna be using some IRs from Torpedo while of Sun scanning. So let's check out actually if I'm right and the three different voicings of the pedal really sound different and what difference they really make and actually if this might interest you guys because like I said this is very cool on this overdrive and at the end of the video I'm gonna give you guys my conclusion about the T-Rex overdrive so let's check it out Alright guys, so this guitar is in drop C. I'm gonna put the settings of my amplifier right now. Now remember we are on channel number two. And now you guys can appreciate the settings on the pedal. And the pedal have four knobs and we have a gain, we have a level. The level I'm gonna leave it all the way up. And we have a mix and we have a tone. Also the pedal have this switch here in the back that is actually what it changes the voicings like I said the voicings the three different voicings that the pedal have we have fat mode we have a normal mode and we have a mid mode that boosts the mix once again and those are the settings of the pedal to start and let's check it out how it sounds without the pedal first and then I'm gonna engage the pedal and we're gonna start on the mid mode okay so let's check it out Alright, let me engage the pedal now. Alright, now we're gonna check out the normal mode. And now we're gonna go to the fat mode that is all the way up, all right? All 
like I said, we are having uh, the level almost all the way up. Now I put it all the way up before it was almost the way up. All right, and we're still on the fat mode. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut uh, the gain a little bit of the pedal and we're gonna uh, put the mix all the way up. And I think that I need a little bit more of treble. So I'm gonna put the treble around 1 p.m. Remember, I'm still in the fat mode. This is how it sounds in the fat mode. Now we go into the normal mode. And now we go into the mid mode, all right? Alright, so these are the three different voices of the pedal and, and honestly for me it sounds um, very different, you know, uh, but uh, we're gonna add some reverb and delay just to see how it actually sounds uh, with effects. Right, and now we're gonna proceed uh, to the normal mode. Now we're gonna go to the fat mode. So what do you guys think? I mean, do the pedal actually really makes a difference in how the amplifier sounds? When you boost the amplifier, uh, it really sounds more gaining. Also, do you guys really think that the three different modes sound different? For me, modes sound different. Now, in the past, I did review three different uh, T-Rex pedals. First one was my T-Rex Nitro, then it was my T-Rex Mod Honey. Now, when I did review the T-Rex Nitro, I didn't used to speak on my 
videos, uh, but when I did review the T-Rex Mod Honey, that is actually another overdrive uh, that T-Rex have, I said that uh, these pedals have something in common, and actually the T-Rex Diva have the same problem. These pedals feel really cheap. Now, T-Rex is a company from Denmark. They do design their pedals on Denmark, and they made some of the pedals on Denmark. But this line of pedals uh, are actually made in China. Same thing with the Mod Honey 2, that, that is the one that I used to own, and the T-Rex Nitro. And these pedals feel really fragile. I won't trust this on my pedal board. It is a really cool pedal, sounding pedal, with three different modes that really changes how my amplifier sounds, that really boosts the amplifier, giving it three different kind of voices. But at the same time, it's not a pedal that I will trust to play live. This was Solomon of Solomon Demons. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Take care and bye.